okay good morning to everyone uh, in the previous class um, uh, we were discussing about the testing of sievers so in that uh, we have uh, already discussed uh, the smoke test so this test is performed for soil pipes uh, when pipes laid above ground that is very important the test is conducted under pressure this, uh, this is also very important 2.5 meter of water and maintained for 15 minutes after all traps reels have been filled with water the smoke is produced by burning oil waste or a tar paper in combustion chamber of a smoke machine why normally we'll use uh, this oil waste because normally it consists of uh, uh, um, uh, 80 percent of the carbon 80 percent of the carbon uh, so once the carbon means it is visible once uh, anywhere leakage is there with uh, um, uh, black uh, uh, things will appear very easily in the atmosphere during the daytime so that is why uh, the oil waste as well as the tar paper is used in the combustion chamber so next the water test so uh, the, this test is performed for underground sewer very important underground sewer before back filling is done this is very important before back filling is done so means back filling means uh, normally you lay the pipe uh, the systematic protocol is there when you are laying any pipes First, you have to excavate for about uh, two to three feet based on the, uh, the design, how exactly you are going to make the design. Then once uh, you dig the um, uh, pipeline uh, trenches, so then um, once it is completed, so then uh, uh, go on uh, uh, joining the pipes. So once you join, the joining is completed then before that only you have to conduct this test before back filling so then it is like a testing whether uh, whatever uh, 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 suppose in, in joints if any leakage is there normally from that the water will come out so then if that is the case is there suppose if you back fill again what will happen is again you have to excavate it with it is very difficult so therefore, first thing is that before backfilling, this has to be performed. The test should be carried out by suitably plugging the lower end of the drain and filling the system of water. A knuckle band shall be temporarily jointed, whatever it is there. Uh, normally, when kind of uh, joints it will be there, uh, that is a temporarily jointed at the top end top end they are going to do it and a sufficient length of vertical pipe is jointed so as to provide a required test head why we are providing this means uh, you already seen the monometers what they will do is that wherever the testing is required they will fix all these small uh, vent type of uh, um, pipes where the pressure head is maintained suppose if any leakage is there uh, the other end they will close it if any leakage is there normally whatever the head is there it is go on decreasing you can see that somewhere the leakage is happening that is how we have to do it the subsidence of the test water may be due to the absorption of the pipes and the joints that is the one thing the leakage it is joints etc so any leakage if visible or defective part of the work if any should be uh, made repaired so uh, water test is of course one uh, very important uh, um, thing where uh, the leakage can be detected very easily smoke test is a little bit difficult because sometimes it may not travel for the longer distance whatever the smoke is there uh, it may not travel for the longer distance but the water you you can make travel for the longer distance there also it is possible if you are introducing the uh, oil waste burning with a high pressure uh, definitely it will travel but it requires a skilled persons of course water test is one of the best method 
uh, even uh, the agriculture persons can also do that the second one is the uh, ventilation of sewers so um, when the sewage is flowing in the sewer has to got a lot of organic as well as inorganic matters this is very important it uh, means ventilation of water supply distribution is totally different from the ventilation of your sewer systems because it not only consists of uh, uh, your uh, organic and inorganic present in it but some of the uh, matters that decompose and produce gases so like some of the gases includes H2S. This is more common gas absorbed in other sewer pipes. And if if you are not providing uh, this ventilation systems, normally uh, one very important called the crown corrosion. Crown corrosion is going to happen um, in case of uh, this. If if you are uh, not providing ventilation, if you are print ventilations this will escape then the, probably the crown corrosion whatever we are talking about that can be stopped then what is this crown corrosion is so assume that you have the sewer pipe is there like this uh, here assume that the h2s gas is releasing this normally this portion top portion we can call it as uh, the crown crown of the pipe see when once this h2s going to react with your water then normally what will happen is that uh, it will form acidic h2so4 which is of diluted not a concentrated so in the, the top portion of course it is there the corrosion immediately will start once the corrosion will start in this portion uh, then whatever the reinforcement is there inside the pipeline uh, it is going to be um, uh, uh, destroyed as the earliest so this normally we can call it as uh, the crown corrosion. Of course, these gases are uh, false smelling, corrosive and explosive in nature. Sometimes, it, uh, sometimes uh, if you don't provide proper ventilation, many times the busting has happened in case of, uh, suppose if you have made the provision in uh, some of the PVC pipes. Of course, uh, uh, in case of uh, con uh, reinforcement concrete pipes, normally for sievers, we will use it reinforcement. So uh, there are uh, less chances of explosion, but if you use the some some places, if you use uh, some of the PVC pipelines, there are many chances that the explosion is going to happen. Therefore, the ventilation of sewer is very much important. So then, methods of ventilation. So once you uh, see that, what are the methods of ventilation? Uh, first one. Uh, laying a sewer line at a proper gradient. This is very important. Because uh, normally your sewer lines, sewer lines are of gravity based. Are gravity based. Suppose if you are uh, uh, using this gravity based uh, sewer lines then normally the proper gradient is required so like if you say it is 1 is to 1000 um, 1 is to 1500 these are the optimum gradients normally we will provide it and it should not be too steep also like 1 is to 100 uh, 1 is to uh, 20 so these are not that much recommended so as far as possible uh, what we said is that uh, the first one that is the self cleansing velocity and the non scouring velocity self cleansing velocity and non scouring velocity they has to be maintained suppose if we don't provide with the proper gradient these two will not be uh, provided so then running a sewer of a half full or two third this is recommended not it is completely full this is the second one is important so design a sewer line in a such a way that 
uh, the sewer, whatever it is there, either it should not cross this portion. Means up to this much, if it is there, not a problem because some like some por this portion normally it is required to store all these gases. Suppose if you are completely filling it, then uh, what we are saying about the complete corrosion of the things is we uh, expected more than the the uh, uh, whatever half full or uh, two third it is what we are recommending it. So then provide a manhole with greetings. So uh, sometimes some of the manholes that will discuss what is manhole and what is the purpose of this manhole and um, how exactly this can be made. What is the importance of this greeting that will discuss in the next uh, uh, slides. Then proper house drainage should be there because if proper house drainage is there, assuming that no blockage is there. Then providing the ventilating columns or the shafts, providing the ventilating columns as well as the shaft should be provided uh, in case of uh, the method of ventilation. So this is normally you can see the ventilation column how exactly it will be there. So this is what the sewer line you can see that this is a sewer line. And <clears throat> this is the ventilating pipe. Complete you can see that this hole you can see this is the ventilation pipe. And as far as possible, this ventilations pipes should be properly recognized in the um, uh, road sites because most of the time what will happen is that uh, if you uh, made it above the ground, there are many chances that you know, the, the vehicles are going to hit or many people will uh, uh, get disturbed with all these things. So it is better to provide wherever the traffic uh, uh, things are not there, then it is provided to then as far as possible, uh, some of the copper wire gauges has to be provided at the top so that uh, uh, nothing should enter into this because once the false smell is coming, it will attract uh, the uh, some of the uh, flies uh, that should not enter into uh, the sewers. Once it is entering, uh, again, uh, many small smells are coming and it, it, it will uh, lead to uh, many diseases also. So if that is the case is there, uh, then normally half a feet or one feet above the grounds, uh, this kind of systems will be provided. So then the sewer appurtenances I will discuss in the next class.